This is the half kneeling cable lift. So to set up, the knee closest to the cable machine will be down, the outside leg will be up. We want to make sure that toe is dug in in the back and we're sque squeezing the glute on the near leg, so in this case, the right glute. All right, so we want to make sure that pelvis is in a neutral position below you, anterior core engaged here. So from here, we want a wide grip on this uh, rope attachment here with the cable arm at the low setting. So for a lift here, the first movement is to pull the cable across your body, keeping it close to your chest. So if you're just pulling it across, extending this arm. Now the second movement here is to press out in front of you, and good. That's when you're going to feel that rotational force, so pull it back in, back to his chest, and then back down, all right? The weight's never touching this, all right? So you want to be far enough away such that the weight's never touch, and there's always constant tension on the rope. So maintaining a nice posture here, all right? He's going to do it again, pulling out in front, press out, back in, and back down. So sometimes we program this with just like a one second hold on the press out. Other times there might be longer holds, say three or five seconds. No matter what though, you want to maintain a nice stable posture. So you want to imagine almost that you had a, a glass of water on your thigh as you're performing this or on your head. And you don't want that to move or spill as you do the exercise. That's how stable you want to be. You want to be able to move that force across your body without compensating in other parts of your body.